everyone, in today's video we're going to review how to cement temporaries. Go ahead and check out the setup list. Once you're done fabricating your temporary, you're going to make sure that it's all clean. You can rinse it out, but especially make sure it's dry. One thing I like to do is apply a thin layer of Vaseline using a micro brush on the outer border of the temps. This way the excess cement doesn't stick too much to it and it will be so much easier to remove that excess cement from the facial but also from those embrasure areas. By the way, shout out to our patient that allowed me to record this in the spur of the moment. Um, so excuse my mess in the background. Since I have to mix a temporary cement, I'm going to square equal parts of the base and the catalyst, but I'm not mixing yet. I'm just getting it ready. I have to first isolate the area using cotton rolls to avoid any saliva contamination. That way the cement can set really well. Then we're going to air dry the teeth and at this point the area should be nice and clean but if you find a little speck of something on the adjacent teeth or something like that then this is kind of like your last chance to remove it. And even though we want the teeth to be dry you do not want to over dry in a way that is going to create post-op sensitivity for the patient. If the teeth have root canals then you don't really have to worry about this otherwise you just want the area to be dry enough so that there isn't any saliva so the cement can work. Also, you want to communicate with your patient. See how I'm gently placing my finger over their teeth? You want to make them aware of what you're doing. That way, they don't accidentally close while you're trying to do all this isolation. In this case, I have to hand mix the cement into a homogeneous mixture. And I know I have a limited time with this. And this is actually one of Gabby's pro tip. You must know your denim materials. That way you are prepared and know how to use them well. And a major pet peeve in our DA community is cleaning the spatula immediately after mixing the cement because nobody likes to clean dry cement from the spatula. Now we're gonna start loading the cement and you can use a mixing spatula, but sometimes for smaller temps, you may need something smaller, like maybe the plastic instrument. My preference is to use the micro brush, that way I can load a good amount of cement and be able to spread it all over the walls. Once you seat the temporaries over the teeth, you wanna make sure that there is some excess cement coming out. And if the patient isn't over salivating, you can quickly check their bite. But if at this point there is anything wrong, if the temps aren't going in very easily or something feels odd to the patient, you want to take it out and start from scratch because we know that something went wrong that needs to be addressed. You can have the patient bite down on a cotton roll or gauze. In this case, I choose gauze because there is a tooth missing on the opposing so this will give me a better pressure. And you see how the patient is chewing on it. No, you want to stop the patient from doing that and tell them to apply firm pressure when they're biting down. Once the cement is set, you want to gently remove the excess cement using the explorer and you want to aim the tip of the explorer towards the gum line so that you can avoid accidentally popping off the temporary. However, you know, we made sure the margins are really smooth and there isn't an overhang and we also apply Vaseline prior to cementation so the cement should come off very easily. No cement should be left behind so that the patient doesn't get irritation or gum inflammation. Last step is to floss the area and this is actually a great time to hand the patient a mirror. That way they can follow along on what you're doing and you can review flossing techniques or in this case since I have to use the floss shredder, I can show them how to use the floss shredder and also review their post-op instructions regarding the temporary. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to give your patient a really good rinse afterwards and share with us in the comments your pro tips on cementing temporaries. And don't forget to check out Gabby's temporary crown video where she goes in detail how to make those. And when you're ready, make sure to check out my video on how to fabricate temporary bridges. Don't forget to give us a like, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Keep smiling.